Hey you guys and welcome back to Diva Style. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do um, custom nutrition facts as well as uh, barcode. I'm going to try to do this video uh, really quickly. Um, if you don't want to do a uh, custom, that's totally fine. You don't have to. All you have to do is go to Google and type in uh, nutrition facts birthday. And then once you do that, you can go to images and you will see all tons of um, different ones. This is one. All you would do is save it to your um, save it to your computer. But they have, you know, for basketball, volleyball, uh, Sweet Sixteen. All you have to do is Google it. Google is your best friend when doing chip bag. And that is also the same with um, barcodes. But make sure it's PNG. PNG images are those that do not have the background. Um, here is one. And as you can see, the background looks like it is checkered and gray and white. That means that the background is not there, which is um, what you're looking for. Again, just save the image to your uh, to your computer and you're ready to go. Okay, uh, this Patricia Fax right here that I did, it is a custom one. I did this, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I did this on Publisher. Um. And it, it was it was processed. It was my first time doing it. But let's uh, see if I can pretty much show you pretty much how to get the gist of it. Go to insert, shapes. Of course, you go to rectangle. And you're going to change the color. So you go to format, shape, fill. And you want that to be white. Uh, shape outline is black, but I want mine to be a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go down to weight. And I'm going to go to uh, the four. And as you can see, it got... Thicker. And then to add the words, let's start with insert word art. And I want my, my words to be a little bit skinny, so Arial narrow. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's change that to black. Uh, no outline. All right. So let's take this and move it on over here. And we now have that. So let's insert word art. Go back down to narrow again, you guys. Serving size one. You could also put, you know, one birthday boy, birthday girl, you know, whatever. Oh, goodness. You know, whatever you would like to put to customize it, then click on OK. Go back up to change the uh, color and take out outline. And you do want the serving size to be a little bit smaller than the nutrition fact sign. And then to insert a line underneath that, you can go to insert shapes and go to line. And I do want that a little bit thicker, so I'm going to change the weight of that. And then move it down. Let me move this down a little bit. Okay, perfect. And then you just go ahead and start inserting the um, the fact, uh, the personalities one by one. Shy, 2% uh, is what she said. Now, you do have to space it just so the words are not, like, together. Ooh. Format, change it to. All right, and then let's move this. Can we move it? Yes. Move it on over to here. Let's get these closer together, you guys. All right, here we go. That looks really good, you guys. Oh my goodness, I don't think I did this narrow, did I? Let me click on it. No, I did not. Okay, yes, that looks that looks really good. Still looks a little bit bigger, though, than I would like it to. Okay, it's a little bit smaller. And then just to be sure that your next um, traits or whatever you're adding in is the same size, just go to copy, 
and paste. That way it is exactly the same as you can see. Only thing is now you just can go in and change the words to it. Maya, don't change this. You know, to loving, and then let's change Mama, this. Maya, change the That's my daughter. I'm sorry. They are up and arguing really early. <laughs> and then, see, you have that, and then you just go ahead and add your lines in. Oh. And that's how you do that. And then if you see, once you try to go to move it over, you see how it pretty much just moved away from the words? Okay, in order to get it all together in one picture, what you will want to do is group all of these um, images together. And I'm going to uh, show you how to do that. So what you're going to want to do is hold control. And once you're holding down control, can y'all turn that down a little bit? Is once you hold down control, you're going to want to click on everything that you just inserted into this box. Let's click on that line too and click on the box as well. Okay. And then you go to format and you will go to group. And it just added, you know, all of that into one picture, one image that you can now. Oh, goodness. What is going on? This is not acting right. Okay. We're going to do this one more time. Maybe I did something wrong. We're going to hold control. Oh, I see what I did. It grouped that into one picture. I must not have clicked on the box. Okay. So just simple. Control. Click on the box. And that box. And group it. I did not group the whole thing. So that was my fault. But now it is all grouped together, as you can see. Really simple. So to do the barcode, let's see. I'm gonna go grab this barcode. Y'all, shoot, I thought I was tripping at first when it didn't all group together, but that was my fault. Okay, so I have the barcode, and I did it. Uh, I enlarged it. That way I could see, you know, what I'm doing. Insert shapes, rectangle, and let's say we want to cover these um, numbers right here. You will fill that in with white. And as you can see, the, um, the numbers. Hold on, wait, y'all. It's a little bit too big. We got to fix that. Okay, and as you can see, the numbers are now gone, and you can just go ahead and go to insert and insert whatever it is, uh, whatever, you know, date, if they wanted the date of birth, you could insert that in there, but I'm just going to put this in here for now and go to black, uh, no outline, drag this on over here, and let's get that way smaller. And there you go. You now have, um, of course, you would do this one over here as well, but just wanted to give you guys a quick, you know, summary pretty much on how you do it. Um, if you have any questions or I left anything out, please feel free to um, feel free to ask. Any and all questions are welcome. This is my first time doing it on Publisher. Like I said, I usually use um, a website and the website that I usually use is uh, befunky.com. I use this to pretty much make my nutrition facts. I upload a white background as you can see. I go to crop and pretty much crop it down to the size of the nutrition facts. And then I just add it in there one at a time. I go to text and now I'll go to the words. I don't want typewriter, but um, you guys get the idea. And I just usually add it in there like this, and this is pretty much how I normally do it. Did I spell that right? I'm trying to go fast because with the uh, site that I use to try to record these, it's 
it only gives me a 15 uh, minute limit. But yeah, this is pretty much what I use. Uh, I find this better than Publisher, but you could do either one. Uh, you add it in here, and then you go to save. Save the image to your uh, computer, and you have uh, custom nutrition facts. I'll probably go in and redo it on here, but yeah, this is the one that, you know, this is on Publisher. That's how it came out. Not bad. I mean, pretty good, I guess. And again, see how that did not stick on there? Okay, again, I'm dragging this video out. Um, <laughs> if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. And uh, yeah, as always, I will see you guys soon. Bye.